So in this video, we're going to make three bar graphs, one for each day to day, for the three germination parameters, imbibation, seed coat breakage, and root appearance. Here you see that I have all three of those data tables for germination. I've got a complete title, and I'm ready to go. The effect of one half serial dilution of 0.5% XLZ on the germination of Phaseolus aureus for data day one, two, and three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste these into a spreadsheet. I don't want to use that one. I want to use this option. That's day to day one. I'll skip a space and go and get day to day two. And skip a space and go and copy and paste day to day three. Now it's time to make the graphs. I'll make the day-to-day -day one graph first. I'll highlight just the three germination parameters data. I'll go to insert the bar graph and move this up. I'll make the second graph. And I'll make the third graph. OK. Now what we have to do is we'll start by changing all of the series and the legend to the correct labels. So I'll click into this graph. Design, select data, series one, edit, series one is imbibation, series two, edit, seat called breakage, series three, edit, root appearance. And I'll select to put this legend on the right. There it is. I have to do the same thing with the three other charts. Let's concentrate on this chart. Next, we have to put in the axis titles and the chart title. Let's get the axis titles there. All right, let's start with the y-axis title. The y-axis title is the going to be the XLZ and in parentheses percentage which means I have to change the Y sorry the X axis labels select data edit the X axis labels okay so I have the percent XLC XLZ zero for control 0.5, which is the stock solution, and then the one half serial dilution. Over here, I have to put in the germination parameter, since there are three of them, and I'll put percentage as the unit. germination rate. And I have to do the same for all the other graphs. Now let's get the title in there and I'm going to cheat. I'll go back to my data tables. I'll just copy and paste it. I have to use the control V command. And there we have it.
the first of the three graphs has been correctly completed. To give you an idea of what it looks like for all the graphs, that's the second day-to-day -day graph, and that's the third day-to-day -day graph. And you can see the changes that took place over the three day-to-days for each of the germination parameters. That's the video.